Meghan Markle honors her children in Colombia with gold Archie and Lilibet necklace. Meghan Markle honored her children by weaning a personalized necklace during her and Prince Harry's visit to Colombia. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited a local drum school, Escuela Tambores de Cabildo, in Cartagena on Saturday, August 17, with Colombian Vice President Francia Marquez. The visit marked the third day of their trip to Colombia. Meghan, 43, wore a black striped maxi dress from Colombian designer Joanna Ortiz and a gold imperial dick pendant from Ariel Gordon jewelry. The necklace is personalized with the names of her children, Archie and Lilibet. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Meghan and Harry, 39, welcomed son Prince Archie, 5, in May 2019, and daughter Princess Lilibet, 3, in June 2021. Harry, for his part, wore a bright blue button-down shirt and khaki pants for the couple's visit to the school. This is not the first time Meghan has worn jewelry to honor her children. In August 2021, she released a video with Melissa McCarthy in honor of her 40th birthday, in which she wore two diamond necklaces with Archie and Lilibet's respective zodiac signs, Taurus and Gemini. Created by designer Logan Hollowell, the Gemini design featured 11 diamonds and was valued at $1,785, while the 8-diamond Taurus necklace cost $1,600. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's charitable work throughout the years While visiting Escuela Tambores de Cabildo on Saturday, Meghan and Prince Harry were all smiles as they participated in a drum lesson led by students at the school which preserves the traditional art form of African drumming. In a speech following the musical performances and lesson, Vice President Marquez shared why she invited Meghan and Harry to visit, saying she views them as a joint symbol of resistance and two vital voices against injustice as communities in Colombia are impacted by a rise in gentrification and tourism, a reporter at the event told us weekly. The Duke and Duchess came to Colombia, this is Colombia. This is where the roots of our ancestors and our forefathers are from. A community like this cannot be displaced, VP Marquez said. Leaving Cartagena to visit the town of San Basilio de Palenque, Megan gushed over the incredible history of the community, saying she was so honored to be invited. Meanwhile, Harry said their visit to Colombia had been an incredibly moving experience. I wanted them to come here and discover the essence of who we are, our spirituality, our music, our culture and our ancestral heritage that is still very much alive today, Vice President Marquez, said of Meghan and Harry's visit. In the midst of adversity this is what has helped us continue to be resilient. Palenque, is in the heart of every Afro-Colombian. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wrapped up their latest international trip on Sunday. The couple went to Colombia at the invitation of the nation's vice president, Francia Marquez, and they spoke at the Responsible Digital Future Summit at Universidad Ian on August 15. Their visit to Colombia marked their second international tour of the year, following their trip to Nigeria in May. Harry and Meghan received backlash for both trips in UK tabloids, with some outlets questioning why the couple is going on trips that look a lot like royal tours despite stepping back as working royals in 2020. But looking back at their time as working royals together and their individual lives highlights that international service trips are nothing unusual for Harry or Meghan. Representatives for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did not respond to a request for comment from Business Insider. Royal commentator Kristen Meinzer told Business Insider that international trips with a service focus aren't new for Harry or Meghan.